Drivers who are sleepy are three times more likely to be involved in a crash. Our Jacqueline Quinn looks at the dangers those drivers pose. If you can't remember the last few miles you've been driving or if you're drifting in and out of lanes, those are all signs that you may be drowsy. And they say drowsy driving is impaired driving. It's terrible to lose your family in a way like this, and it doesn't need to happen. Nicole and her brother Nicholas Walters lost their parents in 2017 when a tired driver working for CWRV Transport crashed into the car they were driving on I-76. Yeah, it's pretty angering, and it's, yeah, it's not that hard to, like, just get a good amount of sleep before you start driving. The siblings were awarded a $26.6 million settlement this past September, but what they wouldn't give to have their parents back. And drowsy driving could be more common than some may think. A AAA study from last year revealed about 29% of people surveyed admitted they were so tired they had a hard time keeping their eyes open while driving. As part of the study, AAA researchers studied videos from cameras mounted in cars of 3,500 drivers looking for signs of fatigue. When researchers analyzed more than 700 crashes caught on tape, they found signs of drowsy driving in roughly 10 percent. 30 percent increase in the number of injuries attributable to a drowsy driver or a driver that fell asleep on our roadways. Sam Cole with the Colorado Department of Transportation went back to 2014 to look at figures, and he says drivers that fell asleep at the wheel cause about 16 deaths a year but injuries have steadily been climbing. So when it comes to prevention, the best recommendation from experts is to get enough sleep. And they say if that's not possible, don't get on the road. They say if people go 20 hours without sleep, it's a lot like having a blood alcohol level of 0.08. That's legal limit, but just imagine if you go with less sleep, it's a lot like having a BAC that's even higher. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.